Hi, I'm Larry Scahill. I'm a professor of pediatrics at the Marcus Autism Center and the Emory University School of Medicine. And I'm Karen Bears. I'm a psychologist here at the Marcus Autism Center and an assistant professor in the Department of Pediatrics at Emory University. We're delighted to describe the results of our recently completed randomized clinical trial in young children with autism spectrum disorder. This is the largest behavioral intervention in children with autism spectrum disorder. 180 children participated and we showed that parent training is effective in reducing disruptive behavior in young children with autism spectrum disorder. Dr. Scahill, can you tell us a little bit more about the background of this study? The study followed uh, almost a decade of work in where we developed this parent training intervention. First, we had to develop the parent training manual. Second, we had to show that parents would accept this intervention, that they would come over 13 sessions uh, over six months. Third, we had to show that we could train therapists across several different medical centers so that we could be assured that the treatment was being delivered in a reliable fashion. After all of that, then we were finally ready to put it to a randomized clinical trial. Now, Dr. Bears, tell us a little bit more about parent training. So the parent training program that we studied is an 11 to 13 session program where we work with the family one-on-one, -on -one, so the therapist and the parent are working together. And what we're doing is we're teaching the parents a variety of skills and techniques which are designed to help the parent help the child in terms of improving their challenging behaviors. Um, when I say challenging behaviors, I'm talking about things like tantrums, non-compliance or not following directions, aggression, and some self-injurious behavior. So you mentioned techniques. Mm -hmm. Be a little more specific. Describe some of these techniques. So we actually start by teaching the parents how to uh, understand why the behavior problems are happening in the first place, because that's actually the key to then intervening or, or working with the behaviors. So sometimes kids act up because they want attention from their parents, and sometimes they do it because they're just trying to get out of something, like a chore or um, uh, something that maybe isn't very fun. And so we teach parents to understand first what the function of these behaviors are. Then what? Uh, then we start into the intervention techniques, and we start first by talking about how they could prevent the problems from happening in the first place. Are there things they can put in place that would keep the behavior from happening? Uh, after that, we move into more um, intervention techniques and using things like reinforcements, planned ignoring, uh, and compliance training to help target any remaining challenging behaviors. From what you've said, it sounds to me that there, there must be a a kind of a model, a conceptual model upon which this parent training program was built. Yes, it's based on uh, the principles of applied behavior analysis and one of the core pieces of ABA is the ABC model, which stands for the Antecedent Behavior Consequence Model. And the way that the program works is it helps parents understand uh, the antecedent, which is what sets off a behavior problem. The B is what behavior we're targeting. And the C is the consequence. Uh, that's what's usually in response to the behavior. So we're essentially teaching parents to use that model to um, understand the function of behavior, but then also to, to address those antecedents or triggers the behaviors to keep them from happening in the first place or to have better consequences in place when, when a behavior occurs. Now what? Does it work? The great news is it does. Um, what's really exciting is that we have an intervention that's 11 to 13 sessions, uh, an hour a week of the parent's time where they come in and learn the skills. And over the course of six months, we have found that parents can really uh, improve their child's behavior problems and also improve their adaptive skills or daily living skills. So we have an intervention essentially that is pretty short term. It's not very intensive and yet works very really, really well in reducing these challenging behaviors that our families are, are dealing with. Well, why don't we talk a little bit about the results of the study? Yes, I'm really delighted to describe this. Uh, we had 180 children across six sites in the United States, and the children were randomly assigned to get either the parent training program that we've described or a parent education program that basically was a, like a college course on everything a parent would need to know about autism, but no techniques on how to manage behavior. These treatments were well attended by, by uh, all the parents involved. The dropout rate was only 10%. 
which means that parents were engaged in both of these treatments. But at the end of the study, 70% of the children who were in the parent training group improved substantially compared to 40% in the parent education group. That difference is not only significant if you talk about statistics, it's a big difference. The lives of these children were dramatically improved in both groups, but parent training was clearly superior.